Unit 7. Listening. Part 3. Speaker 1. My first job was when I was a student. I worked part-time in a hospital and had to fetch patients and wheel them to different hospital departments for treatment. I'm not sure if you can still get jobs like that if you're a student. Anyway, it was hard physical work, you know, lifting people and helping them into wheelchairs and pushing them, but I think I'd expected that. The thing I found most fascinating was chatting to the patients I had to collect. I got to know some of them quite well and, you know, uh, we'd talk about all sorts of things. They'd done all kinds of different and unusual things in their lives, so they often had plenty of interesting stories to tell. I think I learnt a lot from them, in fact. Speaker 2 I got my first job as an assistant receptionist in a hotel when I was just 18. I didn't have much self-confidence to start with because I was quite shy as a teenager, but I was really happy with the job because I thought it was a great opportunity to get some work experience. Anyway, they gave me lots of responsibility quite early on, so I learned to do all sorts of things which you need for almost any job. Really practical things like dealing with people, answering the phone correctly, maintaining the hotel database. And on some occasions I was left on my own as the only person in charge of the whole of this enormous hotel. Doing that successfully certainly built up my self-confidence, I can tell you. Speaker 3 Well, this wasn't my first job, but it was what I call my first serious job. I mean, not just a job for a month or two as a student. I worked behind the counter in a bank, and I got the job just after leaving university. I applied for it because I thought at the time that it would be a good way to get to work in finance. Unfortunately, I soon found that that wasn't necessarily true, and that's why I eventually left. Before starting, I'd expected the work to be quite routine until I was given more responsibility, but... In fact, it was very challenging right from the beginning and needed a lot of concentration, especially while I was learning the job. Speaker 4 It wasn't a very well-paid job, but then first jobs often aren't. I worked in a call centre for a large computer company. I had to answer the phone when customers rang in with their queries or complaints or whatever. Sometimes all they wanted was some information, uh, but they often rang in with a real problem which I had to help them sort out. You see, I already had computer skills because I'd studied computer technology at college. I felt at the time that I was doing something really useful because there were all these people phoning in with urgent problems to do with their computers. Usually just a few simple instructions over the phone were enough and customers were very grateful, so it could be quite satisfying in fact. Speaker 5 My first job? Can you believe it? I did it for nearly 15 years. I started when I was fresh out of university and I worked at the same school until just about a year ago. I have to say, though, that I found teaching fun and challenging. It's a job where you're doing something serious, but at the same time having lots of laughs. <laughs> Students prefer it if you have a sense of humour and say something funny from time to time. You know, make a joke. On the other hand, I always had a great deal of homework to correct in the evenings, and I hated that. I found it was just a chore, uh, so the job did have a few drawbacks. Now I'm head teacher of another school just down the road, but that's another story.